वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आर्म प्रोसेसर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कंडीशनल इंस्ट्रक्शन इन आर्म सेवन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड नो मोस्ट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रक्शन कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड अलॉन्ग विथ कंडीशनल एग्जीक्यूशन सो इट इज नॉट लाइक ओनली ब्रांच इंस्ट्रक्शन आर हैविंग कंडीशनल एग्जीक्यूशन इन आर्म you can provide conditional execution with almost all the instructions that you can say so in this video first i'll explain you how branch instructions are there and the syntax is which are there with branch instructions that we need to use with other instructions as well for conditional execution how to do that that i'll explain you step by step so let us see first how branch instructions are there so my dear students here arm supports all the instruction execution with conditional execution so first of all i'll be explaining you branch instructions so when we talk about bal then that is unconditional branch instruction after all the branch instruction you will have to write label and as if that condition is happening in that case branch will happen branch means jump will happen at the label which will be written after instruction here instead of bal you can write only b as well so that is unconditional branch only as if you write bnv means never branch so here my dear students this is dummy instruction it is like nop in 8085 so here we are not performing any operation with bnv means never branch so that is dummy instruction when we talk about bcs so that is used to have a branch when carry is set so bcs means what branch if carry is set so as if c is equals to 1 branch will happen right here bcc means what branch if carry clear so as if c is equals to 0 in that case branch will happen with the label which we need to write after bcc so after bcc you will have to write label and as if with previous instruction carry is zero then only branch will happen here b v s v means overflow flag so here branch if overflow set means as if v is equals to 1 then branch will happen so with previous instruction we need to check whether given flag v is equals to 1 or not so as if v is equals to 1 after that as if you write this instruction and label then branch will happen with that label right here bvc means branch if overflow flag is clear v clear means overflow flag is clear so as if v is zero then branch will happen bmi means here branch will happen as if data is minus with previous instruction so as if negative flag as if it is equals to 1 then branch will happen so bmi means branch if minus bpl means branch if plus so as if negative flag as if it is equals to 0 what it means data is plus with previous instruction in that situation branch will happen beq means branch if equal so if with previous data as if you have comparison or some that kind of operation and in that case as if z flag is equals to 1 then you can say branch if equal in that situation there will be branch b and e means branch if not equal so as if z flag that is zero in that case here you can say branch if not equal and here branch will happen to the specified location which is there after this b and e instruction so here always you will be writing label and at that level your agenda is to have branch right so that label will be having address at which we want to jump over here right so here as if z is zero in that case branch will happen with b and e bhi means as if first number is higher compared to second number then branch will happen here bhs means first number is higher or same in that situation branch will happen so before this instruction we need to have compare operation and in that we need to check whether first number is higher same or lower so with this instructions we can have branch with respect to comparison as well right 
सो हियर बी एल ओ मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज लोअर बी एल एस मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज लोअर और सेम हियर बी जी टी मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन एंड दिस इज वॉट वी यूज फॉर साइंड ऑपरेशन सो इन साइंड ऑपरेशन वी शुड बी यूजिंग बी जी टी मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन बी जी ई मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल एंड दिस इज वॉट वी यूज इट विथ साइंड नंबर बी एल टी मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज लोअर देन बी एल ई मीन्स ब्रांच इफ फर्स्ट नंबर इज लोअर देन और इक्वल सो दीज आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस दैट वी हैव फॉर कंडीशनल एग्जीक्यूशन विथ साइंड ऑपरेशन एंड फॉर अनसाइंड डेटा यू विल हैव टू यूज दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन नाउ सी दिस सिंटेक्सिस आर वेरी एसेंशियल यू विल हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस how to use that you know i'll explain you but there are few more branch instructions that we need to understand now see i'll be explaining you subroutine instruction that is also branch instruction but this instruction will gives you subroutine it is similar to call subroutine which we have seen it with 8085 8086 so here bl means branch link and this instruction that we use it to have subroutine so after bl will be having label over here at that label there will be subroutine address at which will be providing subroutine over here right see these are the branch in this branch instructions you will be just jumping to that location but when you perform subroutine at that time once you complete that subroutine at that time you will get back to original location again right so that is how it is different here when we execute bl it will be having branch to that address but here we are deal with to come back as well so what will happen when you execute this instruction at that time program counter that will get stored inside lr that is link register and after that you will be observing the address which we are writing after this bl that is second address that will get loaded inside pc and after that you will be jumping to the location at which subroutine will be there once you end that subroutine program at last you will have to execute move pc comma lr that is to load back pc value to the original location so here when you execute bl after address what will happen this next instruction address that was there with pc first of all it will load that pc into lr then it will load the address which is there after bl instruction so it will jump to the location of subroutine once you complete subroutine at last you will have to execute move pc comma lr so what will happen link register that was having that next instruction address over here so it will come back over here that is how this is happening now my dear students let us try to understand blx so here blx means what branch link and exchange that is also subroutine but here this subroutine that will happen with thumb state on so here t bit will be equals to 1 with this subroutine that will invoke thumb subroutine so in thumb subroutine my dear students you should know we are having instructions with 16 bits right and in arm state we are having instructions with 32 bits so as if you have memory constraint in that case you can have subroutine with thumb state on in that situation you'll have to execute blx now my dear students i'll explain you how we can execute all the instructions with conditional execution so let me give you some example let us have normal move instruction so this is normal move instruction move then r0 comma r1 so what will happen r1 will get copied inside r0 right now here i want to perform move if carry so in that case what i need to have you see bcx that was there with branch so here as if i write move after that cs that i am writing so what it means with previous instruction as if carry flag is set in that case only it will do this operation in which it will copy r1 to 0 right so here that will happen only if carry is there so here with move instruction also you can have conditional support let me give you few more example normal addition instruction that is like add then r0 comma r1 comma r2 in which r1 r2 will get added and that will get copied inside r0 
but as if you want conditional execution then here you see what I am doing is add if equal instruction right so here you see equal is there as per branch if equal in which eq that is the syntax so here as if you write add then eq what it means with previous instruction as if z is equals to 1 means z flag is equals to 1 then only it will do this addition otherwise this instruction will get skipped so that is how conditional support that is available over here here one more thing that you need to know here my dear students it is not like arm 7 will update the status after execution of every instruction like when you execute add then r0 comma r1 comma r2 it will add r1 plus r2 and it will store it inside r0 but it is not like it will update the status to update the status you will have to add s let me give you example so you see a d d and then s is written so as if you write s then only it will update status otherwise you see with this add status will remain same but with a d d s you will be changing the status as well it will do same thing r1 plus r2 will get loaded inside r0 but along with that status flag that will get updated status flag means you will be having cpsr register in that status are there so that you will be updating by having s with instruction right here my dear students you should note down this thing most of the instruction of arm is conditional so here you should know this syntax is that will be what we are using it to have conditional execution right so you will have to write vs as if you want to perform any operation with overflow is equals to 1 right so that is how all the instructions are having support of conditional execution with arm7 so this is how conditional support is there with arm7 i hope it is clear to you still if any query is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video